we had to write new programming languages and new accounting models from scratch. And whenever you write a new programming language, that takes a few years. Uh, we also did a lot of foundational uh, PL research because we really wanted to understand what is a smart contract programming language. So it wasn't just, hey, let's go do something, release something. Uh, we started from first principles and we hired people who actually write programming languages for a living. Like the leader of the Plutus project is Phil Wadler along with Mimo Chakravarti. Um, people will remember that Wadler was the creator of the Haskell programming language and worked on probably a dozen programming languages throughout his career and made meaningful contributions everywhere from Go to Java. Uh, you know, there's, there's all this lore in the PL space, like, hey, why does Scala have this? Well, we had a conversation with Phil Wadler and he recommended it. It's like, oh, okay, we'll go with it. So we brought some really serious high caliber people in and we said, do it right. So we don't want it just a language. Let's take a step back and really understand what problems are you trying to solve with smart contracts and what problems aren't you trying to solve? So you can get the right balance between off-chain and on-chain. The other thing is we really wanted to think about the accounting model because at some point you got to shard, at some point you need to move transactions off-chain. And it turns out that the model that Bitcoin uses is almost, almost right. You just need to extend it. Uh, the accounts model is not. In fact, the model that Ethereum uses, Tezos uses, and these other systems use really is hard to shard. Uh, and so the, the longer you live with that, the harder and harder it's going to be to go parallel. UTXO is super easy to shard. You don't need a global state. You just have a local state for what your area of concern is. It's just you have to extend it to do more. So it was really hard for us to figure out how much extension was required for UTXO. So we had to invent an entirely new accounting model from scratch. And then we were really curious, is that accounting model equivalent to the accounts model that Ethereum uses? In other words, can you move value back and forth between these systems or will something be lost? So we had to come up with a paper called Chimeric Ledgers that proved that they were. So there was a lot of infrastructure and background work that was needed to be done. Uh, and that took years. And we did it in a very rigorous way that's recognizable to any professional programming languages. So we actually wrote formal semantics. We proved some things in Agda. We had to redesign the language. I think Plutus was redesigned about 18 times, 19 times. So there was a lot of iterations there. But that's great because we were saving a, the developers a lot of heartache and pain. If you look at Solidity, it came out quickly, but it's already gone through an enormous amount of versions. And they had to save their developers a lot of heartache and pain through you know, iterating gradually. Meanwhile, you have the DAO hack. And meanwhile, you have all these other things. And there were a lot of do-overs that I think they would uh, like to have. And unfortunately, you have to live with the sins of your language after you've released it. You know, JavaScript is the greatest example in history of that. They wrote it too quickly, less than 54 days, I think. And we spent, as an industry, 15 years cleaning up JavaScript to a point where it's actually a useful programming language. I mean, it was so bad for a while that people were creating like meta languages, uh, supersets like TypeScript and Dart and CoffeeScript to try to get away from JavaScript because it just could not be used for enterprise grade applications. And eventually they got their act together and put in classes and big arrows and you know, these types of things to get JavaScript to a point where you could write maintainable code. We didn't want to inflict because billions of dollars are at stake, those sins into our community. We said, instead, let's do it right the first time. And then all the iteration can be about better libraries, better tooling, you know, some more syntactic sugar and, you know, things that developers want, perhaps better specification languages and these things, instead of how do you fix the core language? We'd like the core language to be used again and again. And the advantage we had is that we kind of started from a very good place. Haskell was created in 1985 by a committee. And they've spent more than 30 years carefully thinking about, well, how do we improve it? And we had the hindsight of all these old language designers who are in their now their 60s, uh, who like, like had to live with all the sins they've committed in programming language design. And they say, okay, we're not going to do that again. That was a horrible mistake. And let's not go through that pain. And that's just beautiful. We've just saved our community so much by going down that road. And so what does it mean? It means for you, the developer, now that that's almost there, you're gonna have much more concise code, you'll have a better testing experience, and ultimately you'll be able to write more productive apps with a better life cycle with those applications, okay? So that means it's easier to maintain your development team is smaller, you have higher developer productivity, uh, and these are all things that developers really care about and executives really care about because they, they have to release software with predictable timelines, predictable costs, 
They have to use this thing called Agile. They have story points and burnout charts and these things. So you'd like to know that the platform is working with you instead of against you. So we took a very first principles approach to that. The other thing is that we had to be interoperable with the incumbents. And the problem was that the incumbents made almost no effort to formalizing anything. So one of the first things that we did is we actually paid to have the Ethereum virtual machine formalized. We had this yellow paper, but nobody actually wrote down formal semantics. So we funded the KEVM project and we actually wrote the first set with runtime verification. They, they did the work, we paid the money uh, to, uh, to uh, formalize the Ethereum virtual machine. And then after we did that, we knew where all the bodies were buried. Like what was the good, the bad and the ugly of this virtual machine and that execution model. And then from that, they built Yella which is the execution model for the ocean for all of the programming languages. So there's a, a vastness to the smart contract strategy of Cardano that is absent with all of these other projects. Usually what they do is they say, let's start with WebAssembly and then, okay, we'll just figure it out from there. Then you have to build a resource model and a memory model and all this stuff. And then as you're adding it in, you make mistakes. And then you spend five years, six years in market fixing those and your gas fees are never right. And these other things are never right. Meanwhile, who suffers? The DeFi space suffers, your customers suffer. The problem is the financial incentives are a little perverse. You get paid up front and then you get to sell at the top. So uh, you, you're not really paid in a traditional sense for quality or for whether it works or not. And so that's why we see the, the mistakes we've seen in the industry. But we said, that's immoral, that's wrong. Take a step back, do it right. And look, uh, when it comes, developers are gonna flood in and we'll be able to catch up for whatever lost ground uh, in 12 to 24 months. And will just uh, surpass all of it. It's kind of like when Apple did their do over, you know, they did objective C, they weren't super happy with it. And then they moved over to Swift and they're like, okay, this is the way we're, we're very happy with this now. And we think this ecosystem is good. And the iOS development ecosystem is great as a consequence.